So today I'm back with another foundation review and if you saw my Instagram I talked about this quite a while back but basically I did not get down to filming it just cause there were a lot of newer releases and this is also a new release but makeup store isn't exactly the most accessible I think in the states it's not as accessible I assume but I'll try to find links for where you can purchase this but I wanted to do this so urgently now because the Scalp Excellence Foundation, really cool kind of contraption. It's not the most, you know, hygienic and user-friendly kind of packaging, but this doubles up as both a concealer and a foundation and is said to be foolproof, budge-proof, full coverage, long-lasting, sweat-proof, so I just wanted to put it to the test today in my full day wear test and yeah, if you want to see how this foundation holds up, then just keep on watching. So this is the state of my skin at the moment. I'm just going to prime half my face. And as usual, you can refer back to my other foundation reviews, but I'll just list a few of my skin condition. But, you know, repeating it for every video kind of gets tiring also. But I am an oily skin girl with a sort of sensitive complex, which makes me really dry and dehydrated on certain areas when I use acne intensive products. But once that kind of usage of external products subsides then I return to being oily but I generally am oily okay so this half is primed and we're just going to proceed to applying it on the prime side first just to see whether there is a difference in the way it applies. I'm thinking I'm going to use two application methods. I'm going to use the Beauty Sponge from Real Technique, slightly damped, as well as a Kabuki brush. I think I will use a denser Kabuki brush if I have one. I'll use the one from Zoeva. So the Beauty Sponge here and the Kabuki brush on the prime side. Okay, so I'm in the shade Corn. I was matched by the makeup artist because I had the chance to go down and just basically try out their new line of products and their existing old ones. And I picked up a few stuff from makeup store as well. If I slip up, I might say makeup forever. But yeah, um, makeup store basically has a lot of artistry type products and they're really, really good. I mean, it's what makeup artists use, which is, you know, that's the top grade. So yeah, I'm applying it on the back of my hand about this much and we're going to apply it this side. So this is about one layer. I say one layer even though I kind of went in with two because it did not really set before I applied the second layer. So that doesn't test the buildable coverage. But yeah, basically you can see on this side, it's looking really, really flawless. And I'm not just saying that because I had the opportunity to be briefed by the makeup artist herself. But you can still see like a couple of more prominent spots and 
If you guys know my skin type, I have a varied degree in scarring. It's kind of like there are certain that are, I wouldn't say subtle, but they can be easily covered up with even a light coverage of foundation, while others will still peek out no matter what because it has a purple discoloration or, you know, some scars have like a a greyish undertone so you do need colour correctors for that but I find that this significantly neutralises most of my scarring and it's pretty incredible. I do think that it has quite a, a satin feel already. It's not it's not dewy by any means and it's great for oily skin people. Yeah, it's super full coverage. My under eye looks really brightened and I think when I picked the shade um, Corn, it's actually, I mean, it's not the most true to my shade range just because it's really heavy, a uh, true yellow undertone as well as it's a little on the fair side. I'm a little more like light medium with a yellow undertone and basically it's really good. It's, it's just that I picked this shade so I use it as a concealer. It also brightens up my under eye and I think it really did. Compared to this side, you can see like sallowness and darkened circles, but this side is really significantly brightened, so I'm loving it at the moment. So proceeding over to the other side, I won't speak as much, but I'll use the damp sponge. Okay, so I put the same amount on each of my hands and I use way less on the side with the sponge. On this side you can see a little bit more of a dewy kind of finish but that's due to the dampness in the sponge but yeah once it sets it's going to be pretty much a satin finish with you know just a slight sheen nothing too drastic but I didn't use a lot of product and I love to see how this product is actually as versatile as it is even though it's quite a you know a typical straight up uh, liquid foundation but it has a really versatile kind of coverage I would say in a way that I mean even the light this side using lesser product it still gives me like a high medium coverage and yeah on this side it's just completely full coverage so I'm really really liking it at the moment like even with a sheer wash of colour I don't know if you guys feel the same way it looks decent enough to just head out for every day or head to the office but on this side it's really like that kind of glam coverage that you want for like a wedding, a wedding dinner uh, up like your prom and that kind of thing so yeah you can see how this foundation alone can suit different kind of occasions but yeah let's proceed to concealing as you can see still there still is a little bit of darkness under my eye So that's how it looks and I guess it's really really quite remarkable in the sense that it can be used both as a concealer and a foundation and I think that the consistency of the foundation as a concealer is really hard to nail. If you guys know anything about makeup it's that a foundation acts as a neutralizing base all over the face to which it tends to have to adhere and also be compatible to skin types in general, so dry skin types, oily skin types, but the under eye area is a little more tricky just because, you know, a lot of the time people want something a lot more hydrating and not too aging looking, not too dry, so that's why we use concealer and also foundation so you use two separate products so that you know you don't have that problem of like really dry under eyes and that kind of thing if you are a lazy girl like me sometimes i i also just you know slap on foundation and don't really bother about my under eyes but that being said i find that this does operate well as a concealer i'm not sure how it will last throughout the day but it looks really brightened and also it doesn't make my skin on this area feel really dry so I'm kind of wondering what kind of formulation this is so I'll give it a little time to sit while I do the rest of my makeup and I'll get back to you. Okay so I'm done with my makeup. I basically did a lip swatch video in between because I'm reviewing the Too Faced 
new liquefied matte long wear liquid lipsticks and they look like that i use a combination of these two i did a chocolate brown with a ombre bright orange kind of thing and i think it looks so good i really like orange and brown together and yeah the swatches are here if you want to see that video we link below but basically back to the foundation it's looking really good i did not set it with powder and it looks a little sheeny, I must say, but it doesn't feel tacky. So yeah, my oils are starting to seep through, but I've had this look on for about an hour already, just because I've been filming, as I mentioned. So yeah, not much else to add. The only thing is that uh, when I did apply the cream, I only applied cream products also, and it kind of shift a little bit, especially with the blush. It kind of exposed one of my blemish here. So I suggest giving this foundation substantial time to set which is about ideally 5-7 to seven minutes without touching it and then maybe going over with powder and using powdered products above would be the best thing for this. So on top of cream products I must say that you know it's not fully setting really well otherwise it's still really full coverage and it still gives my skin a very nice satin finish which i incredibly love so i'll check back in at the end of today so that we can see how well this look holds up i'm back from a pretty long day and it's about i guess 4 30 going five and i didn't really have that long a day just because i just did some videos and I went grocery shopping and not too much so I just want to remove my makeup so that I can get started on you know, thinking about concepts for next few videos but basically this is how it looks and I left in the morning at about 7 so yeah as you can see gorgeous isn't it I think it looks really great on film also it just makes it look really airbrushed and almost like perfected and I think with this look that I'm doing I mean I'm just trying out how to wear coloured eyeliner in a very wearable fashion and also something that is a little fun and unexpected but yeah even with this look it kind of looks like one of those magazine editorial kind of thing not that it looks that great but I mean like if a makeup artist were to do that I think this foundation will look really good together with that look so yeah I really really like it and as a concealer can you see how well it held up it's like almost like super glued to my face but the makeup store Sculpt Excellence is just kind of one of a kind I think I haven't really come across except for a few of those hybrid kinds of foundation and concealer type foundations but this you know is just one that is really sitting very well as a concealer and not too drying and it's just really really incredible and I encourage you guys go to the makeup store they are located at Robinsons or some of them have a standalone store in like Paragon or something like that but I'll leave the places where you can go down below but yeah I might do a makeup store brand focus video as well just cause I got a couple more things and yeah uh, if you guys like this look or you know want any other tutorials do let me know as well but the foundation is just so full coverage and it's so versatile in a way that you can apply very little pigment on the back of your hand put a few drops of facial oil or even moisturizer and it can sheer out to a tinted moisturizer so I really like it and this shade corn is really brightening and I mean it doesn't match me exactly but I think it's still substantially matched to my neck and chest area which I really really like and I think a slight bronzing just gives it a little more of a sun-kissed glow yet it still doesn't really shift my base that much. If you are an oily skin girl and are worried about the sheen going on, I did not set it with powder so that explains why there's a little more oil production but overall amazing like you just need a light setting of powder and this will last through anything so yeah if you guys like this video do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so with that i'll see you guys in the next one bye